I'll start with my, my name is Nancy Warren and I'm the Great Lakes Regional Director for the National Wolf Watcher Coalition and we are one of the supporters of the ballot initiative to repeal PA 21 which authorized the NRC to designate the animal, any animal, any species as a game animal. You said you had some information, uh, new information. Yes, and I will get that information tabulated. Uh, we had been asking the DNR for information about the depredations because DNR is saying that this wolf hunt is needed because of conflicts and that a wolf hunt will reduce the number of conflicts. So we wanted to know specifically how many conflicts have there been in each of the three zones where DNR is authorizing this hunt, or not just DNR, the NRC is authorizing this hunt. And so we asked for it on, through FOIA and the Freedom of Information Act, and the first request came back and said, um, it's going to cost you $177 to get this information. So I went back and I said, I believe this should be public information. This is information that should be available on the website. And I asked for a waiver of the fee and the sake of public information. They denied my request. And so I then appealed my request and said, uh, look, I believe that this information is available. You came up with this data. Um, I have it for the entire UP, the number of depredations. I would like specific information for the zones where you claim that the conflicts with, are existing and that you're saying that we need this hunt. So um, I did the appeal just last week, about two weeks ago, and just this morning I received uh, a note from the DNR saying, um, upon review of your appeal, we found out that we do have this information in an Excel spreadsheet, and they sent me all the data while I'm sitting at the airport. I'm reading through the data from 1996. I have a record of each and every conflict that has happened in the UP since 1996, along with um, the number of depredations, what county they were in, and I haven't had a chance to analyze them, but I will get that analyzed, and I will get that. You will be the first to know all the information once I get it analyzed. However, what I did see is in 2012 was the first time we had the authority to kill wolves under the endangered, when the wolves were no longer endangered. And my feeling has always been that if we reduce the population where the conflicts occur, we have a conflict, we've killed that animal that was responsible for the conflict, how many issues are we still going to have once that wolf is dead? And 2012 was the first time we had the authority to kill wolves responsible for depredation. And surprise, surprise, 2013, and this data is current as of yesterday, 2013 there was not one conflict, one verified depredation in any of the three zones that is being proposed for a hunting season that will supposedly is needed because of conflicts. So we have a tool in place, we've implemented non-lethal, yes there have been problems, but yes we have taken care of those problems by removing those animals, those wolves responsible for the depredation, just like what happened here in Atlantic Mine. We had three dogs that were killed, action was taken, four wolves were killed. Hunting is not going to resolve those issues. When there is an issue, we need to resolve it promptly, swiftly, and target those animals responsible. And so as soon as I could get that information analyzed from 1996, we could look specifically. Already we know most of the conflicts occurred on one farm. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much.